Hello. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a lesson called World of Dreamers about verbs and nouns. So, this is the book that we're going to be using. It's called Dreamers by Yuji Morales. This is the front cover and this is the back cover. Can you tell me what you notice about the front cover? Uh, in the front cover, there's um, a mom and her child, um, a butterfly on a flower, and a bird flying overhead. Okay, what do you think the book is going to be about? About the mother. Okay, who do you think is the main character? The mom. Okay, do you think this butterfly is going to be a symbol of something? Maybe, possibly. Okay. Let's get started. So today we're going to go over some nouns. So nouns are, they describe a person, place, thing, or animal. And verbs describe an action that a noun does. So an action that people do, or an action that animals do, or in stories. Sometimes stories um, use like objects that come to life so they can describe what they're doing too, okay? So our first noun is a bridge. Can you say bridge? Bridge. Okay, so here's a picture of a bridge. So can you tell me some words that describe a bridge? Uh, a bridge is usually made out of maybe cement or what it is um, over water most of the time. Cement. What color are they usually? Like um, gray? either like maybe brown or white. Okay, or gray. Brown or white. Okay, what um, definition can we come up with for the word bridge? Uh, a structure that you cross that is mainly over water. That you use to cross over and it is above. Good job. Okay, our next word is books. Can you say books? Books. Okay. So, can you give me words that describe a book? Are they big, small, thick, skinny? A book is uh, um, usually made of paper and plastic. They can be big, they can be um, skinny or thick depending on the book you get. They can be big or thin. Okay, what um, definition can we come up with for the word book? An object that you from. An object that you what? From. That you read from. Okay, good job. Our next word is immigrant. Can you say immigrant? Immigrant. Have you ever heard that word before? Sometimes. Sometimes. Where have you heard that word before? In the mm -hmm. news, at school? You don't remember? Uh, in the news. In the news? Okay. So here's a picture that represents people um, immigrating. So what words can we describe um, immigrant? So what words can uh -huh. we use to describe immigrant? A person that, um, that has moved from their country to a new country. Country, good job. Okay, so we could actually use that as our definition. You gave me a great definition. So, to describe if are immigrants just adults or kids? They can or be both. adults or kids. Adults or children. We can say moving from places. Okay. Our next word is ancestors. Can you say ancestors? Ancestors. Okay. Have you heard that word before? Sometimes. Okay. So here's a picture that we can use to represent ancestors. What do you notice about this picture? It's old and black and white. Okay, so what do you think that can tell us about ancestors? Are ancestors no. people right now? No, they're from like older generations. From older... Like a great grandpa. Okay, so a great grandpa? Great great grandpa. Grandpa? So a great grandpa can be an ancestor to you, right? Yeah. Okay, 
So what um, definition can we use to describe ancestors? Um, a person mm -hmm. from an old generation, such as a great great grandma. Right. Yeah, like great great grand. Okay, good job. So what was a noun? Uh, a thing that describes a person, place, thing, an idea. Good job. Okay, our next set of words are verbs. So our first one is crossed. Can you say crossed? Crossed. Can you, what do you know about the word cross? Cross. Um, usually, what does it mean? I think it means moving. Moving? Like really Moving from what? Um, Are you moving maybe from one place to another? Yeah. One place to another. Okay. So what action can we use to describe cross using our hands? So can you show me, if I tell you, show me cross. Like, it could be a cross too, but I think this word is talking about maybe people crossing maybe like our noun a, a bridge so what can we use so to to show crossed maybe uh, we can use our fingers and we we're yeah. like we're crossing from one side to another can you go like yeah. this so can you go like this crossing okay so using using our hands and moving Fingers from one side of the palm to another side. Okay, so that's the action that we can use to describe crossed. Like my fingers crossed from this side of my hand to my fingers. Okay, our next word is speak. Can you say speak? Speak. Okay, so what do you know about speak? Um, it's using our voices to make mm -hmm. sound. Our voices to say something, you said? Yeah. Where is a good place to speak? Um, maybe at a meeting. Okay, you can... Someone? You can speak at a meeting. Or you can speak in your class. Okay. So what action can we use to show speaking? If I tell you show me speaking, what can you use to show me speaking? Um. Do you need help? Maybe we could go like this with our hands. Can you go like this? So if I say you, if I tell you show me speaking, how are you gonna go? Speaking. Okay. So. Using our hand and opening and closing it. Okay, good job. So our next word is right. Can you say right? Right. Right. So what do you know about right? Or the word um, right? Uh, when we write on stuff, like okay. maybe on like with a pencil or something. Using a pen. So, what else can you use to write? Um, a pen, a marker, marker, Oops. marker, and pen. Okay. Can you write on anything or some things you can write on, other things you can't, like okay. water. So we mostly, mostly write on paper, right? Yeah. Writing on paper. Okay, good job. So what action can we use to show right? Um, like this. Right. Okay, so we can use so we can use oops, use our fingers and pretend we have a pencil and write on our palm. Good job. So can you show me right? The action for right? Okay, good job. Okay, our last verb is dreamed. Can you say dreamed? Dreamed. Okay. So
So this is actually a past tense verb. Okay, so it's yeah. like in the past. If you okay. say dream, that's that you're dreaming right now. Dreamed is that you dreamed last night something. Okay, yeah. so what do you know about dreamed? Um, when do you dream? Dream when you go to sleep, but this past so it's after. Mm -hmm. You dream when you go to sleep. Do dreams, are dreams sometimes real? Or can you dream like really fake things, like pretend you're riding a dragon or something? You can dream really fake things. You can dream real things or fake things. Okay, good job. So what can we use in action to show dream? Okay, um, like, like this, this dreamed, okay. So absences. we can put our palms together under our head and tilt tilt our head over them to show dream, right? Yeah. Can you show me dreamed again? How will we show dreamed? Good job. Okay, so now we're gonna play a game. So I'm okay. gonna show you the spinner wheel. I'm gonna spin it. Okay. And then you're gonna tell me where the word is going to go, okay? Let's see, where it is it? Right here. Okay. Can you read me that word? Mm -hmm. Immigrant. Sorry, it came out. Immigrant. Is immigrant a noun or a verb? A noun. A noun, okay. Let's type it immigrant. Okay. What's the word? Can you read it? Books. Books. So it's a noun you said. So let's go back. Noun. Okay, our next word. Is it a noun or a verb? Uh, a verb. Okay. Okay, our next word. Dreamed. Is dreamed a noun or a verb? Uh, a verb. Okay, good job. Okay, let's go to the next one. Bridge. Is bridge a noun or a verb? A noun. Okay, good job. Let's go. Is ancestors a noun or a verb? Uh, a noun. Okay, good job. Ancestors. Okay, and then our last word is crossed. 
Is crossed a noun or a verb? A verb. Okay. Cross. Okay, can you choose a noun and a verb and use it in a sentence? So first, tell me a sentence using one of the nouns. Um, bridge. Okay, so can you use it in a sentence? My friend crossed over a bridge last year. Okay, good job. And what about a, a verb? Can you um, tell me a sentence right. with a verb? Right. Okay. Um, I write with a pencil, okay. not a pen. Okay, good job. Okay, thank you. That is all. And we are done with our lesson. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye.